something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time, but not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well, for something or someone that doesn't exist, they sure like to talk about Satan a lot in the media, the celebrities. They always reference Satan, right? But then we hear them say they're either atheists or they believe in a higher power, right? They reference God. Obviously, we know that they're talking about Satan because Satan is their God. And they reference Satan as God. And that's why Christians get so confused when they hear Beyonce and all these celebrities thanking God after all of these award shows and things like that. And praising God. Well, they're praising their God. Their God is the God of this earth, Satan. Now, interestingly enough, we've got just another commercial, this time Match.com with Ryan Reynolds. Where have we seen Ryan Reynolds? Well, we've seen him, of course, doing the basic New World Order Illuminati gestures before, from the devil horns to the all-seeing eye, right? All these guys are all in on it. But the fact that they constantly portray Satan as this protagonist, is really what the point of me doing this video is, is to show you this, that they're constantly doing this and putting him in this role of, ha ha, oh, he's cute, he's funny, he's silly, like the show Lucifer. And then every time we see Jesus, it's portrayed through these shows and these comedians and these celebrities as, you know, a dork, a weirdo, or they put him in these bizarre situations, just like they put Christians and make portray them out to be dorks, so they make people not want to be Christian or read the Bible or anything like that. And they make Satan out to be, you know, oh, Ryan Reynolds, you know, they betrayed him individually as some type of hunk in society. So when he dresses up as Satan, everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's so sexy. Well, here's the commercial for Match.com where they're saying that 2020 is the year of Satan because of everything that's gone on with the lockdowns and the restrictions. And little do people know it is the year of Satan and it's only going to continue as we get near to the actual shop being administered. But take a look for yourself. Oh, I've dated much worse guys than him. Much worse. I mean, at least he's famous. I started by using the Match custom search filter. I filtered out joy, happiness, toilet paper, and reason. Boom. Most years I've dated are a little, I don't know, straightforward. I mean, there's a little misery, but nothing truly soul-crushing about them. I just want to be remembered. You know, do you know the poem, The Road Less Traveled by Shakespeare? I actually have the tattoo of it. Don't ask me where. You <laughs> don't. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> she gets me. That's the best part. Someone that takes time to see beneath the surface. Oh dear. <laughs> it's just a perfect match. Oh, <laughs> right? Oh, oh. And the funny part is, do these people who are atheists ever sit and watch this stuff and then say, you know, they sure talk about God and the devil a lot. If something wasn't real, why would they constantly, constantly bring attention to it? All the time, over and over and over. And then they just end up going, well, it's because, you know, people know it's a fictional story and they got it. They're constantly showing you this stuff because it's truth and it's real. And they put a spin on it and they make Satan always the protagonist. They make Satan always the, oh, look how cool Satan looks, right? Ryan Reynolds is Satan. Ryan Reynolds is a sex symbol, too. Like they do in that show Lucifer where, you know, they pretty much have Lucifer, the girls drooling over Lucifer. Right? Lucifer's come back to Earth. He's here to be a good guy cop. I mean, the most ridiculous plot you could possibly think of. Yeah, people watch the show and think it's great. And you can see the comments where people are commenting on the Ryan Reynolds thing and they're asking for more. They're saying it's great. They're cracking jokes like, hey, Satan, you're right. You know, I'd steal the toilet paper too and stuff like that. I mean, it's so over the top ridiculous, but it's also so in our faces. And we obviously know that the great falling away is here, that more and more people have turned on Christianity, have turned on. Christians in general, followers of Christ, however you want to word it. And a lot of it has to do with the way the media and the way these TV shows betray us. Right? We get portrayed as bigots. We get portrayed as hateful. Isn't it ironic that Satan's constantly portrayed in this, almost this uh, light of being love, right? Like this commercial. I mean, what's the underlying theme? It's love, right? It's Match.com. Satan love, Satan's year 2020. Interesting how subliminal it can be, but how in our faces it actually is. And this is just this another one of these things, right? That's there, and people look at it, and they're like, well, you know, oh, Cole's going to have a, a, a conniption, or whatever the freaking word is, over this. A heart attack over it. No, I'm not. I don't see this stuff at this point, with everything going on in the world, and get pissed off like I used to. It does bother me, but 
I just realized that the more and more that they're showing this stuff, if you can't see it and you can't wake up and you can't realize that they're telling you and showing you that the Bible is real, that God and the devil are real, and what they're trying to do is make people look at it like the Satanists look at it. The Satanists look at the Bible and they read it in reverse. That doesn't mean they read it from back to front. It means they look at it as if God, our God, our Father in heaven, is the evil one because he had all these restrictions and had all these rules. And they look at Satan. Poor Satan got thrown out of heaven and sent down here, and they look at him as if he was a hero. And thus, that's why the satanic temples, the satanic churches, the, you know, the real Satanists, I shouldn't put the satanic temple in there, because it's more of, a, even though they are real Satanists, I put the actual real people who study and delve in the occult, which are the people who head those these organizations, but they don't play those roles on TV. They're taught, and what they do is they do everything backwards. So they break the commandments. That's how you get indoctrinated into Satanism. You break the Ten Commandments. Right? Remember early on in my channel, I did interviews with former Satanists, and I talked to them about some of these things, and they talked about how they would be given a wheel, and they'd have to break the wheel upside down to make the peace symbol, because the peace symbol is Jesus hanging upside down on the cross with his arms dangling. And that's when they break the wheel in half, when they crack the, the, you know, the, the actual vertical or horizontal, I should say, bar in the wheel, that's their way of spitting on Christ, turning their back and saying that, you know, they're not one with Christ, that they're one with Satan. That's one of the traditions that they do. And the others are break all the commandments. So commit adultery, commit all these acts. Now, they'll never openly admit it because they're never going to openly admit that they've committed murder. But let's be realistic. We know what these people are really doing behind closed doors, and they wouldn't even count some of the stuff as committing murder. You know, with a whether it's an animal sacrifice or a child or something with Planned Parenthood, they don't count that stuff in their own minds. They've convinced themselves, at least, that really it's, okay, it might be a form of it, but it's not extreme. I mean, the people are sick. Anyway, I'm going off completely off, off rail here, but I'm telling you what they're doing to society is indoctrinating them with portraying Satan as almost this folky, protagonistic hero. Right. With all these shows and then commercials and stuff like this, what it does is it puts him in a light like, oh, it's, you know, Satan's not all that bad. Oh, Satan, you know, it's a funny character. It's a character that people don't take it, any of it seriously. And then, you know, they, they start going, yeah, saying, oh, oh, hail Satan. And they start laughing and they think all this stuff is cool and hokey. And what they don't realize is that they've been getting indoctrinated with Satanism to worship Satan, to worship and want love. Right. Because love is the key to this entire movement. And Christians get betrayed by that because they believe, you know, Christ, when Christ is love, he's mercy. But they're using tolerance and disguising it with the word love because they want everyone to tolerate all of these things that are against what our Father in Heaven has, to has ordered us or, or the laws that he's given us and the way we're supposed to live, right? So they want us to accept all of these abominations and these disgusting acts that these people commit. And there's a reason for it. So this is just Ryan Reynolds, you know, Match.com, glorifying Satan in a light where it's like, oh, you know, ha, 2020 was a living hell, so Satan met 2020. Well, little do these people know who think it's a joke. It's legitimately true, and the beginning is just coming right here because we have the shots coming that people are going to willingly take, and we have all this other stuff that's going to be going down, Agenda 2030, and, I mean, <laughs> they're rubbing this stuff in people's faces, and they don't see it. But I get it. It's just humor, call. I'm supposed to laugh, so I'm not going to you know go crazy over a commercial like this because people are like, have a sense of humor. Well, first of all, it's not even funny. It's just completely stupid. But secondly, I know why they do this and what they're doing. Because I show it all the time, and I show you the repetition of constantly putting Satan and betraying Satan in this, you know, protagonist light, which is what they do. Now, to remind everyone, please check out the website at callforuprising.com. It's $2.99 a month. If you haven't become a member, please consider doing so. It's a great site. Check out the Teespring store if you haven't. There's new merchandise there. And I want to thank the Patreons again for your constant support. I appreciate it. Those of you who watch the channel, thumbs up the videos. It goes a long way. Comments are appreciated. Appreciate all of you greatly. I want to thank you again for listening. Share all the info on here. If you feel it's important, it'll help wake somebody up. Even somebody who's an atheist who thinks... You know, that the world was created by, a, you know, a rock that had a fart or whatever these people believe. Show them the repetition of why, you know, them constantly referencing Satan all the time and constantly referencing Jesus, but in a, in a the, the type of light where it's like just totally dorky and, you know, making us look like fools. Why do you think that is? Because the, low, the younger generations, they're converting into just automatically buying into this, you know, satanic love movement. They don't even realize what they're doing, which is a tolerance movement, which is the worship of the Antichrist and the world coming into peace. And they don't realize that the world would really be in peace if it wasn't for these people who have created the chaos. Right? Makes sense. I thank you guys again for listening. God bless all of you and your families.